masters, he took his, his guides as slaves. Uh, he chopped off the hands of anyone over 14, any male over 14 who couldn't bring him gold. He took women as sex slaves for his men. Dr. Matei, I want you to thank you very much for coming by. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning on the Good Morning Show. You're welcome. That was brief. <laughs> okay. Hopefully painful, sir. The painful lessons of Columbus's past were never mentioned as the networks debated his legacy. Interesting debate. I'm not sure we settled it this morning, but we appreciate on. trying that through. Thank you both. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of our special edition of today on Governor's Island right after this. What did he say to me in any sense? Anything? They just, you know, think that he yeah, ruined the paradise and had no respect for nature and treated the Indians like dog do and... What the hell is he doing? Okay. So to speak. I think I'm pregnant. The woman on the screen is Murphy Brown, a fictional TV sitcom character. It doesn't help matters when primetime TV has Murphy Brown. He is talking about you. Today's intelligent, highly paid... Vice President Dan Quill blamed the L.A. riots on its citizens' lack of family values, instilled in part by the Murphy Brown TV character. He said it was not economic poverty, but rather a poverty of values promoted by the Brown character, which caused the burning of L.A. Highly paid professional woman, <laughs> mocking the importance of fathers by bearing a child alone and calling it just another lifestyle choice. Politicizing sexuality was not new to Washington. I'm an executive producer. I'll just executive produce this baby. Sexual politics helped Ronald Reagan reach the White House and gave birth to the new religious right. <laughs> After the Republicans lost the presidency to Jimmy Carter, some conservatives theorized if the Republican Party would oppose abortion, they could split the strong Catholic voting bloc of the Democrats and elect a Reagan and Bush ticket to the White House. As a senator, George Bush was against outlawing abortion. But as Reagan's vice presidential running mate, Bush changed his position and supported a ban on abortion. Well, you haven't given us any specificity about where you stand on this, Senator. In the past, particularly in the House of Representatives, you voted against federal funding for abortions, and that meant for poor women. In some circumstances. Well, tell us the, the circumstances, please. All right. The, the circumstances debated have in, involved a rape and incest and life uh, where the life of the mother is in jail. As a congressman, Al Gore voted against using federal funds for abortion. But as a vice presidential candidate, he changed his position and supported using federal funds for abortion as part of the Clinton health care plan. That's what freedom is all about. That's what tolerance is all about. That's what our country stands for. Well, I, I'm still confused. I'll try one more time. When you voted against federal funding for abortions, <clears throat> except under the three circumstances you outlined, had your vote carried the day, you would have imposed your belief on poor women in this country. There was no and there is no national health insurance program today. Uh, we do not have the kind of comprehensive coverage. After the abortion questions, Gore's media advisor tells him how to turn around or spin the A question. And the president of the Christian Broadcasting Network, Mr. Pat Robertson. The 1992 Republican National Platform called for a complete ban on abortion. Nearly 30% of the platform committee was controlled by the Christian Coalition and its president, Pat Robertson. 
The goal of Robertson's Christian coalition is to gain working control of the Republican Party by 1996. I have two television networks. I have three radio news networks. I'm starting Standard News. I have 50 uh, reporters right now working for me that are very fine. Robertson's reporters work for its Christian Broadcasting Network, or CBN. Through the 700 Club, CBN News reports reach over 43 million homes in the U.S. Operation Rescue has targeted five abortion clinics in Buffalo for a minimum of two weeks of activities aimed at shutting the facilities down. In 1992, Operation Rescue was a top news story for CBN. A battle both sides vow to win. Andrea Francis, CBN News. On the first day of the Republican National Convention, Operation Rescue broke through this line of clinic defenders and blockaded an abortion clinic near the convention site. <laughs> That same day, Robertson had this discussion with a CBN staff person. I have sent word to the Defense Operation Rescue. I don't want one word on this program this week about Operation Rescue. Not we're, we're, one. Not. we're not. I don't want to cover it. I don't want to talk about it. And I want to work. That same morning, Republicans who supported women's right to choose an abortion held a rally in Houston led by Ann Stone. And I will go over the I mean, we felt like we should cover it. In Don't the cover anything about the abortion debate any longer. It doesn't matter. They passed the platform. Yeah. We need to get cameras covering our rally. Our oh, we're there. Like we're going to be there. And, no, it was, was it start, uh, and then you need cameras shooting for me, George Bush. Or me sitting in the vice president's spot. But I believe in objective news. I believe in balanced news. I don't want to slant the news. I just want to tell it like it is. How many cameras? We'll just yeah, just two camera crews doing it. We have two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get two reporters. Yeah. And just take those cameras and face anybody you want to. And start asking the questions. Hey, Luke. Ask the tough questions. Ask the I let them know questions. right now we haven't seen you. Yeah. I mean, get out there. Don't even say who you're from. He doesn't show me. We'll just go from there. What do you think is the president of the New York Times? You think this thing like Persian Gulf? It might be a military gimmick. You think that's a election? I mean, stick it to you. We'll discuss with them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and, and cameras, wait in their face. Sam, go up and ask you a question. We'll do. We'll do it. 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 We'll do it.
in order to undermine the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the carrier of this plague is the Democrat Party. Um, that Republican convention was one of the most hateful things. I'm a Republican, but I'll tell you what, Pat Robertson personally was one of the reasons why I voted against George Bush. Okay, now Pat, he's saying you would not let a pro-choice person chair your party, or you would try to stop it. He just uh, contradicted what I just said. I'm sitting here in this chair telling you something different, and he said I won't do it. How does he know what I'll do? Uh, I, I think uh, uh, if he obviously didn't hear my speech at the convention because it closed with a beautiful story of a lovely lady holding a little uh, a starving child in her arm, and uh, it was a call uh, for a, a better world and, and one nation under God. I can't see how anybody said that was hateful. I don't know where he's coming from, but there's something there that is not uh, just on the surface, I think, because I didn't say the things he said I did. We'll be right back with Pat Robertson and Lynn Martin and more of your phone calls on Larry King Live. Then Tina Sinatra. Don't go away. Um, that guy was on the wall. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll lie. You take the one sentence, turn your phone, go into the operation. You're answering the question. Okay. You can talk about anything you want to. Yeah. What, what's that? Did you get a good question? No. This last one? Well, the last one, I, but, yeah, I, I didn't get it. I said, who in the heck is screening these calls? I've had one person calling a bigot. I've had another person calling a zealot. Let's, let's get some balance out there. Well, the last one's too late. Uh -huh. The last one's okay, but the first three were all homosexuals. I know. I I've had this you before. Can you can answer the question any way you choose to. I hear you. All right? Remember, so take, take it where you want it to go. Take it where you want it to go. I don't like the producer of this segment. Well, they, it's, uh, they were trying to set me up. Yeah. That's what they told me. And that's what the hearing speaker told me. Did, did they accomplish it, or, or have I come back around? No, I think you're fine. I think that I'm just very upset. Yeah. Well. You haven't come across any of the angry. Oh, no, I'm not angry. Who's angry? You look good. Well, it's angry. Yeah, but you're, you're I think they'll be out of here in about another. I hear you. You're right. I, so to speak. You see? Well, I don't. You see? You want? Well, According to research and polls on the 1992 election, the information source which Americans valued more than TV news and TV talk shows was the presidential debates. And this would mean that there would be four televised presidential debates, more than ever held in any presidential election. And if Governor Clinton is serious about debating, he will accept this challenge and he will instruct his campaign officials to meet promptly with my campaign officials to work out the de details directly between the parties. Let's get it on. Bill, baby, let's do it. Get it on, as we say. Let's get up there and get it on, side by side. Sunday night, Mr. Bush is going to go on Larry King Live. So what I think is, Larry King ought to have us both on there and let the American people call their questions in. That's what we ought to do. Then... Then we get the best of both worlds, one moderator and millions of questioners. I think it would really be a great thing. So I've asked our people to contact Larry King and see if we can arrange it. I'm ready to go. Let's get it on. Hi, um, Tom, can you hear me? Yeah. They've just confirmed both sides. They're meeting at 8 o'clock tonight. Okay. Um, I think it's at Mickey's office. Malik, Teeter, Darman will attend for the president, and they have turned down Larry King. So I've rewritten my live lead. After Bush turned down Larry King's show as the site of the first presidential debate, the debate over who would be moderator of the debates continued, as seen in these satellite feeds, recorded over a 10-day period. Al looks great. 
You saw where he proposed you as the